every single year in college football, there's always a true freshman, a guy from off the beaten path, somewhere in some country location you've never heard of, becomes a true freshman star. And then there are some times when it's a five-star it's a player that rivals 24-7 on three have all talked about, this guy's going to be the next, he's the greatest, well, he's the next since, well, Zachariah Branch from USC fits into that second category, a five-star recruit from out of Bishop Gorman, and I happened to see him in a half against, who did Bishop Gorman play? Was it modern day, I think? Played for a half in that game, had a touchdown, and then went out with an injury, and I was like, man, I've seen enough. This guy's going to be an absolute superstar. Started looking into him, 5'10", 5'11", 185, 180, something like that. Like, man, he is electric with the ball in his hands. Well, fast forward, game one against San Jose State. San Jose State has just scored and decides to kick off to number one. And things are not going to go well. Introducing Zachariah Branch. Now, what I love about this return is how he slow plays the beginning of this return. Watch him kind of just slow and then bang. All of a sudden, he is off. That is tempo start that zero to 60 is just incredible for a freshman take a look Zachariah Branch right there he decides I'm gone makes a couple guys miss stepped out of the tackle and now the speed's taking over but the cut there now the sideline still with the speed now the cut there Tavon Austin that's a name that's been used a number of times to describe Zachariah Branch and that's pretty darn close I mean, it's pretty obvious early on in Zachariah Branch's career, this dude is going to be all kinds of special. 232 total yards. The acceleration, the change of direction, the ability to make people miss the toughness. That's, to me, one that really stands out is the toughness. But you're going to see a combination of all that right here. USC is going to run this RPO arrow, and Caleb Williams has got a few options here. This is a pretty popular play for a number of teams. Teams will get into this a number of different ways. I know when the Texans ran this with Deshaun Watson, they would take, you know, here's Branch. They would start a tight end, and he would go in the flat because off of this they would run split zone. So he would split the zone over here, and then he'd split the zone on a run play, do it again, and then, boom, he'd slip past. He'd bluff that and then go out to the flat and be wide open. I don't know how many times they ran that play, and it worked almost every time. Same kind of concept here, except Branch is going to just start right here. So he is going to let this materialize. He's going to pause for a split second and then run the arrow route right to the flat. And that's when really the kind of fun begins. So Caleb's going to fake this ball inside. And he's got just enough. You're going to get a little block here from Mario Williams. This is beautiful because it ends up being like a screen because he's right down the line of scrimmage. So you can block here. That guy thinks he's got Caleb. That guy thinks he's got Caleb. That guy thinks he's got Caleb. And then they're just going to flip it out here. And nobody is out in space. But what I love is catch. Now he has to spin inside. But as soon as he spins inside, watch the explosion right there to get upfield. I mean, that's as fast as anybody I've seen. So he's got to spin. Normally, you'd like to throw at the outside shoulder so he can spin that way. But either way, he gets the ball and faces up. Boom. Now it's trouble. You got a really nice block out there, and now let the fun begin. Zachariah Branch, whoo, baby, introducing USC Trojans, Zachariah Branch.